Now, I want to take you live to the Palm Bridge Magistrates Court. A senior ANC member and former member of Parliament is appearing in court today after handing, handing himself over at the Alberton Police Station east of Johannesburg. We have live visuals, as you can see. Let's listen in. Okay. Attached to the draft order, can I perhaps have a list of just the witnesses? I don't need the whole indictment. The, the indictment has been attached to the charge Thank you. Appearance date, uh, I heard Ms. Mukwena inform me it's the 14th of October, is that correct? Thank you, Your Worship. The state intends getting the other accused. Your Worship, a uh, communication between the state and Mr. Mandelbitz, who will be appearing for the other accused, was made. He had informed us that the accused was indisposed. Your Worship apparently was admitted at hospital and he had given us a doctor's certificate indicating that the accused would be fit to stand. Uh, trial on the 14th of October. We request the court to worship that the matter be postponed until the 14th of October to get the other Back to the same court. Back to this court. Thank you.
<coughs> Thank you, Mr. Smith. You may stand up. Judgment extempore. The applicant, Mr. Vincent George Smith, appears before this court on what has been identified as a Schedule 5 bail application. This requires of him to adduce evidence in terms of Section 60, Subsection 11B to satisfy the court that the interest of justice permits his release on bail. The court has attentively listened to an affidavit in support of his bail application which was received as Exhibit A to the record. In detail and in summary fashion, it informs the court that he is an adult male aged 60 years, South African citizen, he is divorced with four major children. Um, he resides at a stated address in Ruhrapoort, which has been positively confirmed. Um, he is currently a pensioner uh, with a uh, generated income of about 21,000 rand per month. He has some movable uh, assets uh, in his name. He has vested roots in South Africa. Regarding the merits, he indicated that he will plead not guilty and he denies the allegations against him. Um, he has a valid passport and he is willing to surrender this to the investigating officer. He has cooperated with the investigation team throughout. He has some money available towards payment of bail and then he in general informs the court that he will not jeopardize the criminal justice system or bail system uh, in general. That concluded his application. The respondent indicated that they are not opposed to the granting of bail. In terms of the provisions of the Criminal Procedure Act, they must inform the court f of the reasons for not opposing a Schedule 5 or 6 bail application. The representative of the state informed the court that they um, have confirmed the residential address to be positive. They harbour no fear that Mr. Smith poses any risk of flight to them. He has known about the pending arrest for some time. He has cooperated with the investigation team throughout. Uh, they have no fear that he may interfere with any of the investigation. They have prepared a draft order and request the court to consider making a condition of bail that he may not make contact with certain witnesses listed for the state. Um, and they have made a suggestion of 30,000 Rand towards the fixing of bail. Now, the court is satisfied in conclusion that after considering the merits contained in Mr. Smith's affidavit, as well as the reasons for not opposing the application for bail, that the interest of justice will indeed permit his release on bail, I will therefore grant him uh, a release on bail. The defence in their closing address have informed the court that they are satisfied with the bail suggestion by the state uh, of 30,000 Rand, so there is no further reason for me to deliberate over that. I will then fix bail in the amount of 30,000 Rand. Now, Mr. Smith, I'm going to make the draft order, then an order of court, and inform you of the conditions of your release. As indicated, after considering the um, merits of this application and the parties' uh, submissions, you are granted bail in the amount of 30,000 Rand pending the outcome of this trial, that you are to pay the aforementioned bail amount in either cash or bank guarantee check um, at the clerk of the court offices, Palm Ridge Magistrates Court, before your release on bail. Um, that you appear in this court, Court 7, Commercial Crimes Court, Specialized Commercial Crimes Court, Palm Ridge, at 8.30 on the 14th of October 2020, and thereafter on each and every subsequent occasion as determined by the court. That you hand in your passport um, to the investigating officer, Captain Nevin, before 6 o'clock this evening which is the 1st of October 2020, and that you do not apply for any passport and or other travelling documents for the duration of this matter being rolled on, roll, on, on the court roll. 
that the accused does not approach within 150 meters of any international departure point into or from the Republic of South Africa whilst on bail. That you do not change your residential address without two weeks prior written notice to the investigating officer. That you do not leave the boundaries of Gauteng without prior written notice to the investigating officer, Captain Nevin, uh, nor later than 24 hours before leaving Gauteng. That you do not have contact directly or indirectly with any of the state witnesses. Now that means in no form whatsoever. Um, as reflected in the list of witnesses as per the draft indictment and any subsequent indictment that may uh, be served on you. Currently the list of witnesses are contained on page 35, 36 and 37 of the indictment. That the um, accused does not have contact directly or indirectly with any employees of the core business support division and or the office of the registrar of members interests of the parliament of the republic of south africa specifically in relation to the criminal case this particular criminal case against you do you understand those bail conditions thank you you may then stand down thank you All right, there you go. Breaking news on the agenda's watch. Vincent Smith uh, appearing in court, the Palm Ridge Magistrates Court, on a Schedule 5 bail application. He indicated, that is, Mr. Smith indicated that he will plead not guilty uh, and has denied the allegations against him. He has according to the magistrate, known about the pending arrest for some time now. So bail has been granted. Bail has been fixed at 30,000 Rand. There you see the man in shot, Vincent Smith, the senior ANC member and former member of parliament there. And among the condition of release was that he make no contact directly or indirectly with state witnesses. The uh, case... We will get more about this from Samkele Maseko, who's covering, he's in court currently. We'll give him some time to come out of court.